Hey folks, this is Seven here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Eco, the global survival game. So it's been a while since we've checked this out. I have uh, advanced somewhat. Um, ooh, I only have two skill points. <laughs> I must be spending them like a crazy man. In fact, I am. I have reached the holy trinity of survival games. I am now the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. Indeed, we have our butcher's table, so that I can do that. Of course, we can construct candles, and most recently, if we go out here, this is my new bakery. As you can see, well, we don't have anything in it right now, but yeah, we can uh, start a baking things. Pretty cool, eh? Uh, bread, I'm already grinding down some wheat. I haven't figured out how to get yeast yet, though. But I can make flatbread. <laughs> so, yeah, there we are. I have started the production of both brick and stone. So, yeah, it took me a while to get as far as bricks. Here's our mill for milling flour, as you can see. So, yeah, and it's kind of odd. Um, demand, zero, supply, zero, consuming 700 joules per second um, takes it a full minute to grind a single strand of wheat which is kind of odd <laughs> but it uh, does work see I've got sugar here and this sugar is from grinding huckleberries and when I grind wheat I'll get flour. So, I have already taken that, I think, and made some flatbread. But yeah, so I've got wheat there. This is where I can make my bricks and uh, those sort of things. Tallow lamps, eh? The problem with this is tallow is a fairly usable um, element right now. Like, I have more uses for it than simply using it to burn as a candle wax. Um, I don't mind making candles out of it, but... I'm not that fond of the fact that it actually uses it for fuel as well. So, at any rate, um, yeah, that's where we're now at with that. So, as you can see, our building has expanded a little bit. I've now got the, uh, well, it kind of looks like one odd giant brick building, but it is in fact two. They do share a central wall for the sake of, uh, well, saving resources mostly. The chimneys on the top, um, they don't work as chimneys. I've got one as well around the back here above the bakery. Um, now, oddly enough, I don't know that these windmills are actually functional yet. But as soon as I installed it, my mill started working. Although, again, it says it doesn't pull any power, etc. Yeah, the chimneys just give you, like I said, a little extra boost. They're like the tables. They allow you to craft a couple of percent faster. The chimneys allow you to cook or whatever the heck it is a, a couple of seconds faster. So you're blazing away. You must be doing something interesting. Um, we've got some charred camas, some charred beets. Oh, it's some more charred beets. Ooh, that one's done. What do we got in storage? Ooh, lots of stuff, eh? Good. We've got some charred meat. Oh, I'm going to put the rest of this back in here as well. There we go. Charred, oh, this goes up to ingredients, I believe. The charred meat I'm going to put into ingredients. And these things... Excellent. Are what we're actually going to uh, keep upon us. Or keep for ready food all right i just built this up a little bit so we wouldn't be out in the elements when we're trying to uh, roast stuff this of course as i said is our butcher block so butcher bison we have three bison yes butcher elk oh we can make some more elk how many have i got four? Oh yeah I'll take three of those. Excellent. 
I don't want to use them all because I do actually have a recipe coming up once the research is done, I believe, that will allow me to make Elk Wellington. How does that sound? Pretty freaking amazing, eh? <laughs> Oops. Slammed in the face by my own door. Alrighty. So as for the mine, sorry it's nighttime, but that sort of happens like half the time. Um, yeah, I have been puttering around down here. We don't have a use for copper at the moment per se, so I haven't been collecting a lot of it. I really hope you guys can see this. So this is where I've been mining iron. All of this material you see here is iron. Um, coal, I have a use for now that we have some of the machines up, but there's none around here that I've run into yet. I have, uh, just like sand, I have a couple of coordinates written down, and if I walk there, I have a chest right nearby, and uh, that allows me to collect these. Now this long tunnel through the stone is not actually a mine. Um, this is going to be a nasty, dirty hole, basically, because what we're... I don't know why that always happens. I think the... Uh, they need to get some better sticky tape for the back of this map because it always slides down <laughs> onto the uh, the bar there. But yeah, that's um. Let me see what I'm going to be doing is digging once I get this through a lot farther. Um, like hopefully darn near punch it right out the other side of the mountain. I'm going to dig one layer down, and into that layer. Oh, five flower work order. Good, the mill is done. Into that layer, I'm going to set chests, and into those chests, I'm going to set tailings. Tailings are something in this game that when you process ingots from uh, stone, iron, or copper, or whatever type of... Oh, well, seems we've... Uh, <laughs> we've crashed! Uh-oh, that's all right. Let's connect back here, shall we? This does happen on occasion. And, oh, let's wait till everything loads, including the ramps we're walking on. Hopefully, there we go. And we're good. Alrighty. <laughs> Not that big a deal. So, yeah, tailings, as I said, whenever you process metal ores, just like in real life, unlike Minecraft, you have leftovers. And the leftovers tend to be really nasty. Um, they're basically everything you've leached out of the, uh, you know, once you've cooked the, 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 the real ore out of it, once you've cooked the metals out of the ore, I should say. What you're left with tends to be a little bit on the toxic side. And, of course, this game being all about the eco is, uh, well, yeah, for every iron ingot, gold ingot, or copper ingot that we produce, we produce two tailings. And as you can see, waste product from smelting left on soil, the runoff will create pollution, killing nearby plants, seeping into the water supply. So you need to either contain it in a building or bury it in rock to neutralize it. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. So, there we are. Um, that is what that tunnel is going to be about. That's going to be where I'm going to be burying all my nasty, nasty little tailings. Now, one of the next projects up here, while I wait for uh, skill points to build, is going to be to switch out all of this dirt road. Oh, look at those elk. Isn't that just so tempting? Switch out all of this dirt road for stone. Um, I had producing lots of stone from that mine so I don't have an issue with that but this cart is just oh it is almost hopeless uh, if you at all end up even slightly off the road you're hooped set it down there we go and yeah you can see it's having issues let's pick it back up oops 
How's that? Will you sit there in one piece? Yeah, it's a little better, right? Eh? Okay. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. So yeah, at this point, um, what I need to do is just be harvesting more stone, which is, again, like I've mentioned many times with this game, ooh, I got a skill point. If you don't like grind, you're probably looking at the wrong game. Or, and uh, that's, that's really not true either, because you're looking at the wrong game if you're going to try doing the silly thing that I'm doing, which is playing it single player. And believe me, guys, it's not the way to play this, okay? This is definitely, every time I log in, you can feel it beating down upon your head that you should not be here by yourself. Um, not because it's inordinately dangerous, it's not in the slightest. Um, just because the amount of pure physical time. Uh, unless, of course, you have the, you know, the fortuitous is to uh, have like a second computer that you can load this on and leave it running 24-7 like a public server would. You know, so when you log back on, you've got, you know, 425 research points as opposed to four. <laughs> you know, I'll do things like go and watch a movie on Netflix and leave this running on my computer, you know, and come back and I have, you know, 18 skill points or something i'm like woohoo because uh for a while there five was a great number you know five skill points get you something and then uh well 15 skill points would get you something now i'm at a point where basically everything is 25 and above and there are a few scary scary that are like 400 which is not something again on a multiplayer server where everybody's working on different stuff, sure, you could afford to put, you know, those particular things in there. But, I mean, look at the amount of points I've actually spent. 138 points in research. You know, and most of the things beyond the top are level zero. You know, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. And everything below that, pretty much, except here. I had to come into baking. All right. But advanced culinary research, 400 upgrade points. You know, 250 to get into advanced mechanics. So, yeah, things start getting real wacky. Like I've got engineering. But if I want to really go anywhere with it, other than be a little more efficient, yeah, huge points, huge, huge. Um, masonry research, efficiency, eh, you know, that's going to give me a cement skill book. Oh, no, actually, I think that's simply... Yeah, this one will give me the glass working skill book and cement research. So, but 50 points. You know, it, it starts to get a little bit crazy here. You know, just getting from culinary research all the way down to where we could bake a loaf of bread was pretty nuts, let me tell you. Um, paper research. I don't know what you end up using paper for. <laughs> That's the problem, you know. Uh, like masonry, if I want to go up another level where I can do aqueduct, brick, and wheat pitch, look what it's going to cost me. 125 points. Yeah. Incredible. And to get into things like this, I need to have learned the cement thing from masonry which is back in research, right? And <clears throat> I believe it's this one, because this gives me cement research. And level one gives you a cement skill book. So I'm only 450 points away <laughs> from being able to uh, do that. Isn't that wonderful? 
All right, uh, these I'm not that care about so much. Um, computer science, yeah, electronics. Industry, industry skill requires engineering. Well, I have civil engineering. Yeah, it, uh, factory modules, wow, mechanic skill scroll, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's quite a thing, quite a thing, anyway, there you are. That's where I'm currently sitting with all of that. So, as I said, to get... So you can see that um, playing this by yourself, you're... Wow. You know, you got to be really committed to being able to get all the way through that. And I may not. Who knows? <laughs> the uh, I ran into a bit of an issue with the game. I mean, besides those occasional... Oh, yeah, look at that silly thing again, man. Unbelievable. And that is, it's had an update. I'm playing version 5.3. It is actually now version 5.4. Well, that didn't help, did it? Seems to like it better. Whoop, 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 whoop. Once I get on it, it's not so mad. I really wish these worked better. I mean, again, it's something they are supposed to be working on, but... And, of course, then I could carry, you know, several loads down at a time. So that would be much more helpful. But, yeah, one of the things that I uh, found a little bit uh, disconcerting about the game, it's been updated to 5.4, and that did add some interesting things. Uh, problem with it is, there's no updater for the game. In fact, I didn't even know the game had gotten an update, except I saw someone's YouTube video. And they started a new world because there was a new update. So I looked on the dev site, um, and unfortunately, nothing. Uh, the only thing I could find about how you could update your game and not have to start from scratch because let's face it all of those points i've got that's hours and 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 like i said a lot of them even being afk hours they still have to be done again to get me back to where i am and on the dev site if you knew how to code in linux the explanation was there as to how to <laughs> simply carry on from where you were but with the new features um, I asked on the Steam forum, and the dev did respond, but the explanation was not, I don't know, you know, I mean, I used to build computers for a living, but software is not my specialty, I'll be honest, and the explanation was not enough to get it functioning properly for me. Um... I tried it twice. The first time it wouldn't finish loading the server, it ran into stack overflow errors. The second time, um, it loaded everything up just fine, and then it went to character creation. It wanted me to start a new world. So neither of those were really acceptable options. So I simply reloaded 5.3 with everything the way it had been, and went from there. So. Those sort of, you know, a really cheap early access game, I could understand that those sort of quality of life things wouldn't be the roots really bugging me. Oh, it's at top of the branch, I see. Um, wouldn't be such a thing, you know, but this is a very, well, I won't say very expensive. It is a reasonably expensive game. Um, and early access or not, something that basic... Um, I, I, I really think should have been put in, you know, by now. I mean, considering how much of the rest of this is runnable, you know, 
Um, even, as like I said, it doesn't even notify you there is an update. You just oblivious, and you know, you load your server, you do all that, and away you go. Now again, maybe it's different on multiplayer, you know. And then again, too, if someone updated their server to 5.4, how does that affect everyone else? You know what I mean? I don't know. But yeah, something I would definitely like to see uh, implemented much rather sooner than later. And I did mention that to the dev as well. I explained that uh, not being a genius with computer software, it just didn't work. So we'll see what he comes back with, if anything. I'm not that concerned about it. From what I could understand, most of the updates involved things when you actually could get the, uh, you know, probably more applicable to people on servers where 400 points was not uh, an unachievable thing. You just had to not play for a day. So, <laughs> yeah. It, that, that almost seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? You know, you can earn more more skill points by having nothing to do with the game than you can by actually playing it. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie then. But I gotta admit, I do really enjoy it. It's, um... It has a lot of the relaxing aspects that you find in a game like Minecraft, but it does make you think a little more. You know, I mean, granted, with all the mods and stuff in Minecraft, of course, you can, you know, working out complex chains of automating things, etc., etc. But beyond that, stuff's pretty simple, you know, compared to the, the mechanics in this game. So, yeah, it does keep you thinking. And, uh, well, that's a good thing. <laughs> I hope. So... And at this point, basically, as I said, I'm going to get this done. I think I'm going to go a long way in if I possibly can. I never go empty-handed, dude. That's kind of pointless. Okay, we'll take some of that with us. There we go. And I'm going to go down and grab whatever our mill had ready for us. I think that tree is just going to have to go. Apparently they changed the water effects as well, although to be honest I didn't notice that much when I saw the uh, the one YouTuber who had upgraded. Okay, so, oh, I guess I was where I actually needed to be, wasn't I? What do you got for me, man? You've got five bags of flour and a whole bunch of sugar. Okay. Yes, I can carry that. And yes, I can carry that. Alright, I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. I guess... Sometimes opening doors doesn't work if you have a shovel. It's the only tool I've noticed that does cause any sort of hardship. But yeah. I'm uh, out of fuel. Well, that's fine. Uh, what I really want to do is put some flour in here and maybe some sugar. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I guess I'll have to get some chemist bulbs. Oh, raw meat. Oh, good. We, uh... Oh. This gives us quite a different baked meat. As opposed to what we make on the fireplace. It's considerably more calories, and I believe the percentages are the same, but you get higher protein and higher fat. I think it's 70 and 50, if I remember correctly. Could be making that up, but I think so. Uh, camas bread? Oh, yeast. I don't have yet. Again, yeast. I was hoping one of these would be sugar. Mmm, look at this. Huckleberry pie. Ooh, huckleberry muffins. We can make those. I just need some huckleberries. Oh, we're going to make some huckleberry muffins, guys. That'll be the close of our episode. Successfully making huckleberry muffins. Oh, I got huckleberries in the mill to make sugar. Yes, 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 yes. Come here. Good 
you miss on the huckleberries. I'm your huckleberry. Of course, uh, famously spoken by Val Kilmer in, uh, well, it wasn't Huckleberry Finn. It was, uh, oh, what's his name? Western dude. Wyatt Earp. Yeah. That'd be it. Wyatt Earp. I'm your Huckleberry. Okay. So, speak of the devil. Huckleberry up, man. And power. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna need those apply you with some power. That's fine. I'm gonna steal some out of here. Do, 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 do. Sorry. Oh, wow. Man, I had like 30 boards in there. <laughs> it's a little bit scary. Don't tell me I have to chop down a tree just to power up my uh, oven. That uh, would not be good. Give me the wood. Nine pieces. Alrighty, I'll take that. Oh, will, I will, I will, I will, I will. Alrighty. Uh, sure. Let's go through here. And no. That's not the right one. Yes, the house is getting so big, I'm forgetting where it goes. See, a one block of tallow does last 30 minutes. It's just... Well, for one, the nights don't last 30 minutes, so that's kind of impractical. <laughs> Oop, I want the bakery. And uh, you can't shut them off and, like, save whatever's left, which is too bad. All right, let's throw that in there. Then let's go back inside and take this from storage and put it into power. There we go. Boom! Woohoo! We're alive! All right, we are going for... Yes, indeed. We're gonna make some huckleberry muffins. Do Huckleberry muffin. Order those. Ho, 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 ho. Now, huckleberry muffins, look at that, will give us... Oh, that's really good, actually. A 60 carb, a 60 vitamin, and only a 20 protein. Really good. Interesting. That's a good combination. That's not something we have. Hmm. Cool. Oh, it's a flat bread we have. Oh, we need two to make one piece flat bread. Wow. It's like the super carb, eh? Normal bread. Whoo hoo Lots of protein. That's odd that there'd be that much protein in bread. Hmm. We'll definitely have to get on some huckleberry pie as well. But I'm going to have to mill a bunch of flour. So I think we'll do that. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. You. Make with the mealing, man. Make with the mealing. Okay, I've only got seven in there. So I'll order three bags of flour, please. All right. So I think, guys, that... Uh, oh, what do we got here? Oh, look at that. All right, where is our food? Uh, right now, carbs and vitamins are high. We're actually... Hmm. Needing pretty much an even influx of protein and fat. Huh. Really, eh? <laughs> Straight calories. Check it out. Nothing else. Just 60 calories. <laughs> so protein and fat. Well, that's a meat thing, if I'm not wrong. I think a chunk of meat is what's going to give us protein and fat right off. 50 and 30, eh? So a little more protein than fat. So we'll go boom, boom. There we go. Oh, look at that. Those numbers are almost perfect. But I'm still a little low. But 142, we're at a 2x multiplier. I'm going to leave it there for the moment. That worked perfect. All right. So there you go, guys. That's another look at Eco. And uh, since I've got my axe out, yeah, I know. As soon as you guys see me, you run away like I have anything to do with that. Let's get rid of that. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. I'm stuck in all the branches. Ooh, look. No more tree branch sticking through my road. Perfect. All right, guys. Till next time, this has been Species 7. 
been a long night, eh? Or did I stay inside all day? <laughs> Either way, this has been Species 7 for Eco, the global survival game. I should grab more wheat. I'm going to be making lots of flour. So, take care of each other, folks. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit the old like button. It really helps out the channel a bunch. And uh, links to the game will be in the description down below if you want to give it a try. It will eventually be coming to Steam as well. So, there you go. Till next time, take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now. How are we doing here? It's only 15. I can do a lot more.